Hey everybody, it's Thursday, and on Thursdays, um, one of the goals that I set that I started doing um, during our spring distance learning period is that I do a picture book, a kid's book, um, and read it here in the vlog. And so, um, obviously I have a few of those already out there, so I'm going to do intros to those and then just splice the old videos into here. Um, and so today's book is going to be The World Needs More Purple People by Chris and Bell and Benjamin Hart. And I'm going to turn it over to me from back in June when that book first came out and let him explain what's going on. And so since I won't log in at the end of the video, I want to remind you to go ahead and take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, and from my house to yours, remember that we love you. Have a great day. Hey, Monsters. Uh, happy Thursday or whatever day you happen to be watching this. I hope you're doing well. Um, <clears throat> for me, like I said, it is a Thursday, so it's not a uh, fun Friday thing or anything. I actually wear a North Chicago shirt, not an ISU shirt. But I did want to touch base just to kind of uh, come in and make sure everybody's doing okay. And, um, of course, as I've often done on Thursdays, go ahead and share a uh, picture book, children's book. Uh, I have a new one, actually, uh, written by Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart. Illustrations by Daniel Wiseman came out about a week ago. I read about it in the Sunday newspaper. Yes, I still read newspapers um, and picked up a copy of it. Kristen Bell, you're probably familiar with. She, of course, is Anna from Frozen. Um, and the new book is called The World Needs More Purple People. Bought this on Amazon actually the day that it came out. Uh, Pre-ordered it and it came to my house the day that it came out. And my daughter has really taken to it. I'm not even making that up. She will run downstairs and... Pull the book out when she gets home from daycare. She pulls the book out and hands it to me. She absolutely loves this book. She, uh, my wife even has heard her saying, want purple. Um, and so let's go ahead and take a look at it. The world needs more purple people. Hey kid, I've got a secret. It's going to knock your socks off and I can't wait to share it with you. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person. How to be a purple person by Penny. Now you may be asking yourself, why in the whole wide world would you want to be purple? Purple is a magic color made when blue and red work together. I think the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? Because you're already on your way to becoming a purple person. You want to know why? Step one, ask really great questions. My dad says purple people ask great questions. Questions about everything, even questions about questions. Hey dad, how far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name? Charlie. Dad says more the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? He also says I can only ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. Step two, laugh a lot. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We're always laughing together. I mean like snot out of our nose laughing. We laugh at books. We laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. Hey aw. We especially laugh at grandpa's funny noises. <laughs> Purple laughing helps us remember the things we share and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you're laughing. Try it, I dare you. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says Grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Oops. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. To give good ideas, let's wear monster costumes to school and to share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. Okay. 
Sometimes purple people lose their voice, and that's okay. It happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up, they also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you by that name. Would you like me to help you tell them? My mom says that when you use your purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with my play? She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm going to work on a better argument. Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work while we build things, while we learn things, and while we grow things. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now. Fix something that needs fixing or help someone who needs helping. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay, drum roll please. Step five, paint yourself purple. Just kidding. That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. They are big and small, old and young. Some wear cool coats, some wear shorts with lots of pockets, and some wear funny hats. She says some purple people feel blue sometimes and red other times. And some purple people have green hair. Step five, just be the real you. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream up and every size you can think up. The only way to be purple is to just be you because you're the only you we've got. So those are my surefire steps to turning into a purple person. Hey, wait a minute. You ask really great questions. You laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker and you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been a beautifully purple this whole time. And I'm sure, and I, sh I sure am glad you're a purple person. Even though I've read this about 500 times, sometimes I struggle. Because the world needs more purple people just like you. And we can see, I took the book jacket off because it was getting in the way of turning the page over. But we can see that our collaboration team for this book also is all pictured in their purple shirts inside the book jacket. So my encouragement to all of you, of course, is to be more purple. Be as purple as you can. Uh, I know Mrs. Neewam and I have been working on it since we have both been reading this book a ton. The message is definitely sticking with us and we're working to do a better job with it. And I hope that you can uh, work to be the most purple person that you can be. Happy Thursday. As always, take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe, wash your hands. And from my household to yours, we love you. I'll see you soon.